What's up everybody? Welcome back again for another episode. My name's Alex. Welcome to the Spooling Up Performance YouTube channel. I am stoked to bring you some of the best news that we've had on this channel in a long time. I hope you guys are excited. Strap in. It's going to be a little bit of talking. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. As most of you know, this car right here is a 2004 Mazda RX-8. We have already had plans to do a turbo LS motor strictly for drag racing and try to break a record for the RX-8. Well, I originally had a crazy thought, but didn't know if it was feasible. So I kind of threw the idea away or put it on the back burner, if you will. After a comment that a subscriber left yesterday, it kind of got me thinking again. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll do some research and see what it takes. So guys, I am super pumped to tell you that we are changing directions on the RX-8 and because of all the love and support that I get from the Mazda community and this channel just being so good in the aspect of the Mazda platform, we've decided to do a MZR swap on the RX-8. Yes, I said it. We are doing a speed motor in the RX-8. It'll be a rear wheel drive setup. There's a lot that's going to have to go into coordinating to get this done. I have a few people on board already. Just after a few short phone calls today, I can't express to you how freaking stoked I am because this will be a first ever done, especially on this car. I don't think anybody's ever rear wheel swapped a MZR motor. I know there's one person that maybe did like an all wheel drive setup, but this will be a first, especially in an RX-8. So I'm excited to bring you guys along on this journey and make it happen. So there's a lot of things that, have, that are gonna have to go into play here. Um, a, I need to find a motor and it can be it could be a you know a low compression motor that needs to be rebuilt really whatever um, I'd really like to build it the way I want to so I'm not really looking for a built motor right now so basically what's gonna happen is I did some research today those of you that know the EcoBoost Mustang is a rear-wheel drive vehicle and basically has this a similar engine to the Mazda Speed so basically what we'll do is there is aftermarket motor mounts that have a plate that mount to the side of the speed motor that have four holes on each side and basically we'll just buy some aftermarket uh, motor plates for an EcoBoost Mustang and bolt those up to the motor and then I'll just have those mounts fabricated to the to the frame of the car and mount the engine that way there's a there's a few things we got to figure out as far as what transmission we're going to go with and if it's going to be an auto or stick car. Um, I'd like to do an auto um, for the simple fact of the drag racing aspect, um, but I am still tossing around the idea of a stick shift car because in the end, who doesn't like banging gears? So one thing that's going to be pretty cool is the, the stock rear end and whole rear end assembly that's in the RX-8, I think is going to be good to go. So my plan with that is to basically freshen up the rear diff, uh, maybe put a different gear set in there to, to make it better for you know, a quarter mile and fabricate some kind of brace um, to solid mount the diff to hold it in place really well. From there, we'll look into some uh, aftermarket axle options and go from there. I'll have a, uh, once I figure out a transmission solution and get that and get it in the car, we'll obviously have a custom drive shaft made to uh, fit the setup. Hold on, I gotta take a sip of this beer because it is delicious. The thing that's gonna be pretty cool about this is that I already know quite a bit about the speed platform as you guys know from previous videos and builds that we've done on the channel i think uh you know after talking to justin at freak tune you know he's completely on board to help out with any kind of you know pioneering we have to do on this thing but i am so 
so stoked to do this with you guys. And I say with you guys because I wouldn't be able to do it without you. So here it is. I need some buy-in from you guys, the viewers, on this swap. Now, I'm gonna be looking for basically everything engine-wise. So if you guys have, you know, leftover parts, you know, as far as accessories, you know, uh, anything, anything that has to do with the engine. If you have spare stuff laying around, let me know. You know, I'll be glad to work with you and try to get those parts here. It'd be cool to have like a mixture of people's things on this car and really make this build come to life. Um, it would be so awesome to get this thing together for next season. Um, we'll figure out the fuel. I think I'm just gonna run like a port injection setup and run straight to the tank and do some kind of fuel cell or something in the back and run uh, straight up race gas. Uh, maybe like an E98 or an Ignite, you know, 113 or whatever uh, Justin and them are using. We'll figure that out. But, you know, it's gonna be a big single uh, turbo setup and running a lot of boost. Uh, we'll build the motor to accommodate for that. But this thing is gonna be absolutely insane. You know, I think I'm going to have more fun with an MZR motor set up in this thing than I would with an LS because in the end, people have done LS swaps on these already. I was just going to try to be the fastest one, but you know, it's only in due time till, you know, the same people are doing the same thing. No one's ever done this. So it's going to be pretty exciting to tackle it, you know, make it work. So I hope you guys are super excited, as excited as I am. I have uh, a couple people on board with this and it's, it's super humbling that, you know, the, the amount of support and the very kind things that people are saying in comments, you know, it, it's humbling. You know what I mean? I started this channel with the Mazda Speed 3 that we built last and, you know, it's been growing from there. We're rounding 2,000 subscribers and we're only going to grow from there, guys. Um, but like I said, I need your guys buy-in on it and... You know, any, any help that I can get, uh, suggestions, you know, you know, ideas, whatever, throw them in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. You know, I'm thinking a, a pretty, pretty big turbo um, as much as we can to get this thing, you know, moving. It is a pretty light car, so we shouldn't have an issue. I think the only thing for transmission, I think I'm just going to have to look into, you know, what bell housing, if they can, if they can get their hands on a bell housing I can use to basically adapt that bell housing or adapter plate or something like that to a different transmission um, would be ideal. But man, I'm freaking excited. And I, like I said, I hope you guys are too. I think this is gonna make a lot of people say like, whoa, you know, it can be done. And you know, my end goal is to have this thing up and running and, and be very, very smooth and stable and make it look like it's supposed to be there and you know maybe down the road with all the R&D that myself Justin uh, Edge Auto Sport and stuff like that whatever we come up with um, you know maybe down the road we make a, a swap kit that works and you know if you want to do something like this you can um, that's what it's all about I'm here to help the community as much as I can this community is amazing Everybody's there to help each other and you know, you can't ask for more The fact that it is a, a smaller community than most platforms makes it even better because people are a lot more tight and close-knit and Just willing to help each other out So I'll drop a picture right here and Basically what we're looking at is a this the speed three my my nephew Dom has and I basically just rearranged the picture and kind of lined it up in the engine bay that you know, how I would want it to look um, and just get an idea of what it would look like. We are going to be having to figure out some things as far as, you know, room left to right. Uh, but the trans tunnels are pretty big on this. So I'm not really worried about, you know, transmission fitting in there or whatever I decide to go with. This is, this was originally an automatic car. So, it, you know, it does have two pedals. It would just make it really easy for the swap. Um, for those of you guys who haven't seen this car yet, I bought this as a complete car and stripped it myself, uh, sold everything out of it. Uh, it's completely gutted. I uh, got a Kirky here, Jason Pendleton, if you're watching, thanks for the seat, man. I really appreciate it. Um, it's kind of a 
cluster right now. Uh, basically gutted the stock dash out, took everything else out behind it. There's not an ounce of wiring in this car left. Took everything out and uh, gutted the whole dash and then just put the plastic part of the dash back on uh, to just eliminate all the BS behind it. Uh, the floors, you know, I've still got to go through and remove all the sound deadening and all that stuff. I still have the, the auto trans from, from the RX-8 itself. But, uh, you know... <laughs> I think, I think this is going to be pretty awesome, and I, I hope you guys think so too. I, I think I'm more excited about this than I was the LS uh, swap with the turbo. You know, I have a lot of parts and uh, you know a lot of plans already with like engine builder and stuff like that to get that done. But I think I'm going to pull the plug on it and uh, sell the the LS motor parts that I have and uh, start putting that towards finding a a motor for this. And you know, start working on getting stuff. The motor mounts I already found uh, that I'm going to use. I may get those, uh, and then try to get an engine in here and start working with some things. You know, I will have to fabricate the uh, cold side and hot side. You know, this probably will be a hood dump or a hood exit or a fender exit uh, exhaust. You know, the the turbo is probably going to sit somewhere right here, uh, so it'll probably go straight out or maybe routed out the side over there. I've run a JMF uh, V2 manifold there, hook up all the fuel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to play around with the fabricator to see, you know, how we're going to, where we're going to position the engine. Um, and as far as, because, you know, on the speed motors, the, if you were looking at it this way, the high pressure fuel pump and all that stuff, your fuel, fuel lines and stuff like that are all on this side. Well, if I turn the motor this way, all of that's going to be towards the back. So what I may end up doing is, depending on how far back the engine sits, I may cut out an access panel in the trans tunnel inside the car to be able to access, you know, stuff like the fuel pump, uh, stuff like the high pressure fuel pump and stuff like that. But we are in the very beginning stages of something that's going to be absolutely amazing. And I hope it, you know, breaks the internet and just blows people's minds. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. For especially, you know, us uh, Mazda Speed guys that just love the platform so much. I think it's going to be, you know, a cool project for all of us to uh, endure together. Uh, we got a lot of people jumping on board with it already. And, you know, the idea was just thought of today. And, you know, I'm pretty excited to see where it goes. You ready to have a, a Mazda Speed motor in this thing? He's been He's been dying for me to get another Mazda. Right, bud. Yeah, he loves them a lot. So, um, super pumped about this, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, I, I'm super open to what you guys have to say. It, as little as it is of something of a detail that you have an idea of, or as big as, you know, engine placement and what we should do, you know, just drop it below in the comments and, you know, I'll, I'll respond to you. I'm very, you know, interactive with people that comment. Uh, make sure you like this video guys. Just a small update of what we're doing. I hope you guys are going to be completely on board with this and are as excited as I am. Tons more updates coming on this thing. As always, if you guys are looking for parts for your Mazda Speed 3 or 6, head over to edgeautosport.com. Check them out. I am by no means paid to say this. I just am all for that company and what they stand for. Their customer service is great. If you need parts for your Speed 3 or 6, go over there, check them out, let them know what you need, and they'll take care of you. Also, huge shout out to Justin at Freaktune for helping me come up with ideas for this and uh, kind of squaring away the plan on it. You know, if you guys are shopping for a tuner, look no further than Justin over at Freaktune. The guy is a madman, and he knows the complete in and outs of this platform and he is a guru when it comes to this stuff so if you guys are in the market for a tuner and looking to get your car tuned go ahead over to freak tune and check them out get a hold of justin and go ahead and start getting tuned with the madman himself i appreciate you guys watching super stoked that's gonna do it we will see you later peace <laughs>